So let's have a look at the GIF file format. GIF is obviously used for image files and is still extensively used in many applications. It is especially useful in terms of compressing uh, graphics which have a limited colour set and can be highly efficient in its compression. Unfortunately it only gives 256 bits, 256 colours but each of these colours can be defined in 24 bit pixel blocks. So when we look for our GIF file, the first few bytes contain GIF. After that we see the, the version number uh, of this. So in terms of uh, GIF we see 47, 49 and 46 in hex. And the typical GIF format is 89A. We'll see 38, 39 and 61 for these three bytes here. After that we will get the width of the graphic, and so that's the width there. And then the next two bytes will define the height, so the height will be the number of pixels in this direction. Then we see the color index followed by the color aspect with one byte each. And then after that we see uh, the colour table. So with this we'll get our pixel blocks and we can have 256 of these. So we can see here, here is one of the colours that's going to be used in the colour map. And we see red, green and blue. And then we'd see red, green and blue and so on. If we want white, white is FF, 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 and black is 0000000. 000 000 000 000. If we wanted a shade of red, we'd have FF, FF, 0000. 000, 000. Shade of green would be 00, FF, 00. And the shade of blue would be 0000, 000, 000, 000 FF. So it's, these, it's this color table that is then used to define all the colors which will be used in the color map, which appears later in the file. So let's have a look at our file. And we'll just use a, an example of this program here. Normally we would start at uh, byte 0. So we see 47, 49, 46 and this is a GIF file. And then we see 89A. After that we see our colour map. So what we'll do is we'll use the, the website to be able to have a look at this. So on a security site.com go to digital forensics and then search for GIF files and we have a number of examples here. You can load up your own example but let's look at this example. So if we want to have a look at the image we can do it. So here's the image here and when we load this file up we can see here the type is GIF version 89 height 100 by 85 and so on and then we've shown an example of the color table so in this case we have a color of white there then we do a basic signature analysis so we can see here if we do a very simple test then we can look for 47 49 46 and there it is there it is there. And that can occur anywhere on the disk of course, but it's like there's a good chance that if capital GIF occur, then this is likely to be the start of a GIF file. So that's what our file actually looks like. So let's look at the coding behind this website. And we're using MVC in this case. So in this case we have a method named get get gif pass the file into it this allows us to read the whole of the file and put it into a, a byte array and the first thing we're going to do is display the first three bytes as we've seen before and then the next three bytes show us what the version is we'll take the width so we take uh, the least significant byte and then we'll take the next byte, which is going to be the most significant, and we move it eight places up. 
So that will move this into the most significant byte place and then we can display our width, we can display our height and then so on. And here we're actually going to show uh, each of the colors and we're only showing 64 here but we could show up to 256. We move on each for each color three bytes at a time. Okay, so that's that's how we display the the header of the file. If we actually look at the the signature now that we're looking for, and we'll just find out what the signature actually is. Okay, four seven four nine four six. Okay, so this method here will we'll search for anywhere within a file and look for this presence uh, as it as it looks through the file. And let's see if we can find the signature for the header. Okay, so this this uh, basic method here. Again, we'll read in the file, and then in this case, it analyzes the first few bytes of the file to see if it can determine the type. So in this case, we take the first three bytes, and if they identify that it says GIF, then we take a guess that this is a, a GIF file. Okay, so we just look back at how that appears. On the web page. Okay, so this was our code to read the header and then the color map. This was the the header scan where it looked for GIF. And then this was the signature that is found. So it's found some other things, but it's likely that this is a, a GIF file. Okay, so we can do the same for another file. Okay, so in this one is a bigger, bigger GIF file, but it comes out roughly the same in terms of the header. We can have a look at that one. This is an animated GIF in this case. And here is another file. This is much bigger. And there you go. Okay, so we're determining the the height and the width and so on. Uh, you can see in this color table we actually have black as the first color defined. And so on. One thing to notice in file one is there's actually a message hidden, hidden with inside the color table. And you'll actually find this is because we've, we've, we can hide messages with inside there and it doesn't have too much effect on the image. If you actually look closely you can see that some of the pixels around the top of the image there uh, haven't come out correctly. And that's because we've modified the color map table so we have the incorrect uh, colors for, for those pixels. Okay, so that's provided a basic introduction to uh, GIF, GIF file analysis. <laughs>